Welcome back to Decentralized News. In today's news story, we're looking at Tether, which is uh, going on record saying it does not hold uh, any Chinese commercial paper and uh, denies that it has 85% uh, exposure. So Tether reports that uh, its uh, total commercial paper exposure has just been cut down to about 3.7 billion from 30 billion just over a year ago. So I think, you know, of course, like I've talked about this stablecoin wars, I think uh, they are really trying their best to really maintain that credibility in the market. Since that whole debacle with uh, the algorithmic stable coins, which uh, caused people to really think, you know, about uh, what stable coins are, the different types of stable coins, and, uh, you know, why, whether, you know, some of these that are actually fully bagged, not the algorithmic ones, are actually also fully backed in the traditional sense. So, in that, um, we see development. Uh, we've heard uh, Tether come out and put out a couple statements before. But uh, now they have reiterated that the company plans to actually completely rid itself of commercial paper backing for its US dollar stablecoin USDT. In a, a blog post that they put out this week, they say that they hold no Chinese commercial paper as of uh, now. And uh, while it's a uh, commercial paper exposure is also like uh, really being cut down significantly from that $30 billion high to about $3.7 billion. By late August 2022, Tether said it has plans to decrease commercial paper exposure to as low as 200 million, targeting zero commercial paper holdings by the end of October, which is crazy because, you know, this is also at the time where we're going to see a lot of regulations coming into place are uh, really seriously targeted at stable coins. Uh, I will cover this in another uh, video, but uh, this is something that has been really making the rounds in terms of, uh, uh, especially in the U US and the regulation there. So um, Tether continues to ensure that it has a diversified portfolio, portfolio uh, with limits to exposure on individual issuers or assets. Its reduction in commercial paper is a commitment to its community. This is according to the firm. And of course, this is coming uh, after the fact that uh, you know, some people were saying that they had about 85% of uh, uh, commercial paper, uh, Chinese commercial paper in their portfolio. And of course, you know, we've seen what's been going on in China at the moment. Things are not looking very uh, good. But in June, Ted, the uh, chief technology officer, also claimed that USDT has been subject of a coordinated attack by hedge funds who are looking to short sell the stable coin. And uh, this could be true because we've seen the entry of uh, Wall Street into crypto. And uh, obviously this you can just see with the correlation of uh, just uh, crypto markets and uh, the NASDAQ, for example, and how, you know, crypto markets are trading at the moment where, um, yeah, I think, you know, the big boys are coming in with their money. But of course, it's still a, still, still a small game. But I think as we start to see more ETFs and things of that nature, I think we can expect uh, a lot of uh, these uh, moves to be made. So I think, you know, in this regard, Tether is doing the, the right thing to make sure, you know, they give confidence um, to the community as to, you know, uh, holding uh, this uh, uh, stable coin because, you know, it has a big market cap in uh, crypto. But uh, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Also check out links in the description. Don't forget to join our Telegram and our Discord server if you want to support me. You can check out my books, Tokenized Trillions and Blockchain Applied. Otherwise, uh, like, share, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I'll see you again in the next video. Peace.